Hey, I'm Alyssa Ray, and today is not necessarily, I mean, this is a movement video, of course, but this is more just like a, <laughs> a what's going on in my world kind of a video today. I am sitting here in this beautiful studio waiting for my live class to start. <clears throat> I have like 20 minutes. Normally I take this time and I just lay myself on some Franklin Method balls and just feel my feel myself like feel my bones feel my body moving finding my focus with that and I guess that's the thing I want to talk about a little bit today is that I am in the middle of moving which some of you know um, it's been like a two-month process just like doing some remodeling and fixing up some other things and I'm not moving that far in distance but um, there's a lot of things that I'm shedding and letting go of, and it's a little bit overwhelming at times in the moment. And what I'm noticing is really helping me to kind of go beyond that is this, what I'm about to share with you. So the more often I can just remind myself of right now, and you know, on the one hand it sounds like, oh, she's gonna go to like woo-woo land and whatever. And you know, there is an, there is a, a thread of this that can be totally woo-woo. There can also be a major part of the tapestry that is just living life, right? So it's like I, I wake up and I find myself going, oh, but I have this and this and this and this and this and this and this to do. And all of that is totally true. And I do have a choice in it, but at the same time, the choice feels minimal like it just has to be done so what i've been doing is giving myself 20 minute breaks and in those 20 minute breaks i do something like for my body and i don't just mean like i run like i i actually take my focus as best that i can do in the moment which sometimes is awesome and sometimes it's just sort of like mediocre it's not really about how how well i can focus just that i'm actually putting effort there right so I'm, I'm strengthening that muscle and so I'm focusing and I'm feeling and I'm moving and so because I've studied the Franklin method and because I make a daily practice of connecting with my body and feeling how it moves so I don't just mean like kumbaya like <laughs> I'm actually doing stuff and um, it's awesome because what I'm finding from doing it is like there's a whole layer of calm that I can't make up. Like, I can't just fake it. Like, I can't just walk around being like, oh, I am calm, I got this all together. Because there's a lot of stuff going on in my world right now. And it's like the cool thing that I'm experiencing and watching is that I'm sitting here, for the most part, in the center of my storm. And stuff out there is flying really, really fast. And so this is a great image as well. You can use this too and tell me how you like it. But like, what if you were in the middle of your own hurricane or tornado? Do you know how the center doesn't really move that much? The center is like pretty on it. And then that more still the inside is, the more uh, extreme and, and vibrant and big the outside can move. And so I'm kind of practicing that and going, you know, all I have is right now. And I made a list, so I made a list, I know what I have to do, and that allows me to be able to flow and be where I am. It's like, okay, at two o'clock, I know I have this appointment, but until then, my job right now is just to paint the wall. It's not gonna get done any faster if I try to hurry about it in my mind. It's just gonna take one stroke at a time. And really being able to fine tune it in like, uh, my husband's favorite joke or favorite saying, which he's said for years, is how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And that, that mixed with the, um, the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. These are just some of those things that are really touching me right now and helping me just stay on my stream. And it's awesome because I get to see what I've been practicing and feeling how what I have been practicing is actually sustaining me in these times of crazy. So can you feel it? 
would you like to come and join me? I have online classes and live classes, and I would love to see and hear from you. So reach out, send me a message. You can go on Facebook, on Instagram, or in my email. Okay, I'll leave all those details below. I'll see you soon. Tell me what you'd like to see. Bye.